Uh, last year we had, uh, you know, same same issue with the algae. Benito Dela Cruz knows the drill. He and his family come to Detroit Lake every year for Memorial Day weekend. When they got here last year, there was a toxic algae advisory. This year, there is one again. They just said that if you're fishing, if you go to eat the fish, to make sure that uh, you clean it and, and uh, skin it real well. And when it comes to swimming, he and his family do plan to go into the water, just not under it. Probably not going to put my head underwater and just stay above the water. The signs are up at access points around the reservoir, alerting people of the presence of toxic blue-green algae and to avoid areas where there is a visible bluish-greenish scum. We checked several areas of the lake and didn't find any large patches, although we did find specks of it floating in the marina. Folks there said it was much worse last week. I wouldn't say it worries me. But experts say the algae can be very dangerous. Although not harmful to touch, it can cause severe problems when ingested. Small children and pets are at most risk. In fact, relatively small amounts can be lethal for dogs. So pets actually are kind of the canary in the coal mine. They're really very, very susceptible to these um, uh, toxins at extremely low levels. Which is why Dela Cruz is keeping his family dog away from the lake. Recommendation state health experts say we should start getting used to. We could very easily see more advisories this year. They say the rapid and early snowmelt is washing a lot of the nutrients that cause the algae blooms into our waterways. Add in a hot summer and we will likely get a lot more algae blooms than we've seen in the past. And we're talking in waterways across the state. As for the advisory in effect for Detroit Lake right now, I'm told it will remain in effect through at least next week. At Detroit Lake, Keeley Chalmers, KGW News.